Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Mass today on Monday, the 1st of March. It's the second week of Lent, but also the Feast of St. David, the patron of Wales. Our Mass today is being offered for Gregors or Cheva. We're praying too for Christine Galindo, Brian Hubbs, Paul Gallagher, and Stephen Sheila Nightingale. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. The earliest life of St. David dates from five centuries after his death, which probably was in 589. He became eminent as an abbot and bishop at the site now known as St. David's. He was monks trained at his monastery, evangelised South Wales, and made foundations in Cornwall, Brittany, and Ireland. He was canonised by Pope Callistus II in 1123. Readings focus on the mission of proclaiming the gospel, with notes from St. Paul and a short passage from the Sermon on the Mount. Let's pause now to prepare. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who graciously bestowed on your Bishop St. David of Wales the virtue of wisdom and the gift of eloquence, and made him an example of prayer and pastoral zeal. Grant that through his intercession, your church may ever prosper and render you joyful praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. I believe nothing can happen that will out outweigh the supreme advantage of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For him I have accepted the loss of everything, and I look on everything as so much rubbish, if only I can have Christ and be given a place in him. I am no longer trying for perfection by my own efforts, the perfection that comes from the law, but I want only the perfection that comes through faith in Christ and is from God and based on faith. All I want is to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and to share his sufferings by reproducing the pattern of his death. That is the way I can hope to take my place in the resurrection of the dead. Not that I have become perfect yet. I have not yet won, but I am still running, trying to capture the prize for which Christ Jesus captured me. I can assure you, my brothers, I am far from thinking that I have already won. All I can say is that I forget the past, and I strain ahead for what is still to come. 
I'm racing for the finish, for the prize to which God calls us upwards to receive in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response to the psalm. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Happy indeed is the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor lingers in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of scorners, but whose delight is the law of the Lord, and who ponders his law day and night. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. He is like a tree that like a tree beside the flowing waters, that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves shall never fade, and all that he does shall prosper. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Not so are the wicked, not so, for they, like winnowed chaff, should be driven away by the wind. For the Lord guards the way of the just, but the way of the wicked leads to doom. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. Alan, if you make my word your home, you will indeed be my disciples, and you will learn the truth, says the Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, you are the salt of the earth. But if salt becomes tasteless, what can make it salty again? It is good for nothing and can only be thrown out to be trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hilltop cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp to put it under a tub. They put it on the lampstand where it shines for everyone in the house. In the same way, your light must shine in the sight of men, so that seeing your good works, they may give the praise to your Father in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the first reading, we read of Paul's own struggle in the letter to his special friends at Philippi. He is tired, probably already quite senior. He longs to finish his race and be with Christ in tranquility. The games and athletic contests were the football tournaments of the ancient world, and Paul often uses imagery of running and even boxing. He knows the thrill of the contest, but at the same time he recognises that all our power comes from the resurrection of Christ. He says in the Gospel about salt and about the light of the lamp, they come in various places in the Gospels to challenge or encourage the disciples of Jesus. Here in Matthew, right after the opening promises of the Sermon on the Mount, there's surely a challenge to the disciples, not the twelve, but all the disciples of Jesus, both those who kept company with him and those who have followed after. The image of the salt is obvious enough. Food cooked without salt can be bland and, and tasteless, utterly unexciting. So a half-hearted or shallow proclamation of the gospel wins no converts. The image of a lamb is gentler and wholly positive. At the beginning of the sermon, these two images challenged disciples to share the salt and the light of the message they will receive and all who have ears to hear. Let us pray to Christ the High Priest, who is appointed to represent us in our relations with God. Lord, save your people. Lord Jesus, in times past you have lighted the way for your people through wise and holy leaders. May Christians always enjoy this sign of your loving kindness. Lord, save your people. You forgave the sins of your people when holy pastors prayed continually. Conti please cleanse your church through their powerful intercession. You anointed your holy ones and poured on them your spirit. Fill with your Holy Spirit all the leaders of your people. 
Nothing could ever separate the holy pastors from your love. Do not lose even one of those whom you redeemed by your passion. Lord, save your people. Through the pastors of your church, you give your sheep eternal life, and no one can steal them from you. Save the faithful departed for whom you laid down your life. Lord, save your people. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Grant, we beseech you, Almighty God, that the loving intercession of Saint David, your confessor and bishop, may protect us, and that while we celebrate his festival, we may also imitate his firmness in defending the Catholic faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, <clears throat> for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of his water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me. Pray now, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favour, O Lord, we pray on the offerings we set upon this sacred altar on the feast day of the Bishop St. David, that bestowing on us your pardon, our oblations may give honour to your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks, give thanks to the Lord. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. David, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, 
by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint David, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Vincent, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. Obedient to our Lord's command, let's pray as he taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world. Free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never let me depart from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. <clears throat> we pray, Almighty God, that we who are fortified by the power of this sacrament may learn through the example of your Bishop St. David to seek your ways above all things and to bear in this world the likeness of new man. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for being at Mass with me here today. Let me know of any prayer intentions you want me to mention. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Keep safe and well. Have a great day.